in general, when you look at positive outcomes when you're dealt with cancer, I, I kind of think there's three variables. One is, is the patient needs to do everything within their power uh, to, to improve their outcomes. So that's, that's to give the best lifestyle possible. Uh, the second variable is me, the physician, and the healthcare team needs to do everything within our power um, to, to provide the very best therapy that's available for that person to get the best outcomes possible. Uh, and then I believe that that third variable is a, is a, is a dose of divine intervention uh, because uh, there's, there's only so much that I can do and there's only so much you can do as a patient and uh, I've certainly seen him in my career uh, divine healing. Dr. Parra has had every part of this. Uh, I truly believe if it was not for him because he almost saw a miracle in front of his eyes that he cannot describe how that he had that in his lymph nodes and had traveled to the other side, both sides of him. That's why he was not qualified for surgery, nor was he qualified for radiation. But after the first round of chemo, when, he, when they did the other scans and he, it had shrank 75%, everyone was blown away. And then after the radiation, it was just almost dissolved, at, you know, all together. This sounds like a miracle, Sandra. Well, there was a lot of prayer, and there were people that um, I had to continue to remind Randall that were praying for him that we've never heard of or never seen in our life. Spirituality transcends, transcends religion. You know, it has nothing to do with religion. Uh, spirituality is just finding the oneness in all of us um, and deriving some comfort and some energy from the higher self, whatever you want to call it, right? We, we're all here and we all have just a fraction of a second on earth. If you think about time, well, we're not here for very long, so, but when you're faced with a um, terminal illness or a serious illness such as cancer, uh, you know, for some reason our minds drift at once again to the place that we came from and we want to make the best of, you know, best of time that's available here. It's just a common bond. It's a common bond of the spirituality to let them know that there's a higher, a higher power that's here with them and that they can lean on and depend on throughout their time of need and let them know that they're not in it alone by themselves. And you just become, you just really become connected with them. You can share a verse with them. You, I have noticed that some patients have gone in to prayer circles upstairs before they go into treatment. And I just don't think you would find that type of culture where that would be accepted in other places, but here at the center it is. We're working in an organization where we're allowed to, um, to at least express that, uh, not overtly and not in a, in a situation where it may be uh, uh, not applicable to certain people, uh, not oppressively or anything, but just that it, it, it does have a place in the, in, in the process, in the journey itself. My faith in God is, is everything. and. I wake up and I, I pray for people that that don't have that because it's your whole faith that has to get you step by step. And every day you wake up and you think, oh my gosh, how did I get from here to there? You're carried, you're carried.